and welcome back to Bug Rounds. So today we are going to be looking at the BTS pickups. I hope you enjoyed the last video of my footage of the actual BTS. Didn't get as much as I wanted there, but I hope it turned out alright. I say that, I haven't even put the editing together yet. This is just guesswork from me. So, we'll start with boring stuff. Everyone likes to start with boring stuff. Get it over and done with. But it's not boring to me. I picked up a bunch of enclosures from the Tarantula Room. These were pre-ordered. So, this is a 22 centimeter cubed enclosure. I got five of these. Obviously they will be see-free once I've taken all the wrapping off. I got these little arboreal ones. I got four of these and I already own one. So, there'll be five of those in total that I have. And I picked up one small one of these. Now this is the same size enclosure I put a little sling that I got from Princess Sophie Pink for my birthday in. Obviously it would house something a lot larger than the tiny sling I put in that one. So that's it in the way of enclosures. I got a little BTS journal here. This is my first year officially joining the BTS, so I am now a member. Um, and I got to pick up a little journey, journey, journal. And I haven't actually gone through it all yet, but I plan to have a read of this one. Um, so yeah, one more enclosure. <sighs> Nice glass one. There were loads of these at a really good price. This this quite hefty enclosure only cost me £20, which I think is absolutely amazing. And we couldn't have fit more enclosures in the car if we tried anyway, but one year I swear I'm just gonna go and buy enclosures just because they're fantastic. Uh, moving on, I think I will show you gifts that I was given first and then what I purchased. So. A big thanks to uh, Roger and Vicky Weeks. They got me two of these. This is cocoa fiber compressed in here. So I gained two of them. So thank you to you for those. I went on to getting, oh yes, my scratch card from Bug Box UK. So I worked on the Bug Box UK table, really enjoyed it. It was kind of cool to be a part of an experience. I can't find a penny. Right, I'm gonna to attempt to scratch this with some tweezers. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed working for Bug Box UK, for Cameron. It was a nice experience for me and I actually brought some of my adult Eurocanth Calcarata just as show pieces because he was selling off some nymphs and it, it kind of brought a lot of, especially youngsters, to the table that were fascinated to see them and it was so nice to have, to show off stick insects and people to find them amazing for once. There's still a lot of people in this world that find them boring. So I won. Free Praying Mantis on next order. So, when he's got Mantis in stock, I can pick myself up a Free Mantis with an order. So that's pretty cool. Thank you very much for that one. I then got, I'll go on to this one. I got my key ring from Princess Sophie Pink. And on the back it says, you are awesome big bro, with my logo on. And she handed me this herself. And I think this is one of my favorite gifts that I've got at the BTS. Absolutely love it. So big thank you to you for that one. There's one more that I forgot to bring in here. I've just realized that. I'll get that one in a minute. So in here, I got these from Hannah, from Hannah's Empire. So these are Sungaya Inexpectata stick insects. Now I'm actually quite happy to have got these, um, but I'm not gonna tell you why. It's for a future video. So these are really, really good for beginners. Um, which is kind of linked in with a video that I'll be creating in the future. And I just never got round to actually picking any up, so that's coming really, really handy for a future project. I gained the Rusty Baboon, the H Species Cameroon from Mavs Exotics. That was a gift to me. I can't show you it because it's burrowed right down. I believe it to be, oh! No, I can just make out a leg. It is teeny tiny. You wouldn't be able to see it over the substrate. So that's awesome. Be looking after that one. Next, from Tarantula Noob. Massive thank you to you. I got myself a baby Caravina Versicolor, which you should be able to see just in there. That was really, really awesome of you. Thank you for letting me have one of those. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. I actually got one off... Gar, I think it was last year, and unfortunately, it it didn't make it. It went through two molts with me, and then in the third one, I don't know, it was in a death cow, and I was really upset by that. 
Right, I've got to go find this glass because this was an awesome present. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Panicked then, thought I lost it. I got this little parcel from Tarantula Attic. Now, he did tell me he was already getting me this. Um, and I was absolutely chuffed a bit hearing about it. But actually seeing it was amazing. I thought I have already opened this before showing you guys in the camera because I wanted to check it out and I was too excited to see. And I'm over the moon with this. So it is a glass with my logo on and Bug Realms. I don't know how well you can see that. Maybe if I stand up and put it like this. I'll check the footage after, but that, that is a really, really awesome gift. I've had a, not with a logo, but I've had Bug Realms on a glass before as a present, um, just with the, the words for it on, and I accidentally broke that, and I was gutted. So to have this is amazing. I will do my best not to break this glass. In fact, let's put it somewhere safe. Now, we will move on to what I actually purchased myself. So, where to begin? I'll tell you where I'll begin. One I won't be showing you was a centipede I bought from Venomous Visions. Um, it was very lively, it was fine. But then when I got home, it was kind of, well, it's not looking good, let's put it that way. As far as I'm aware, it wasn't really jumbled around. We packed everything well in the car, but it just was not looking healthy by the time I got back. Perhaps it stressed itself in a car, or maybe it got too, too warm or too cold, or. I don't know, but it's still alive, but it's not looking too well. And I don't really want to be having to show that on the camera, but I'll update you on that in the future. What I also got from Venomous Visions, and I am well happy with this, and I am not opening this tub for you guys to see because they actually frightened me a little bit. I got an L Phalax. So, let's see. I don't know how well you can see in there, but it is a decent size. Look at that. What a monster. So we'll have a nice webbed enclosure with this beauty here. Really, really looking forward. Well, I'm not looking forward to housing it, but I'm looking forward to see how it develops in its home. What else have we got? Ah, uh, yes. So I got a pair of wetters from So Many Legs. Just in here. Um, this one's looking a little bit dopey I'm not sure if it's how well it's doing again these were fine when I picked them up but it's this one in particular is not looking too healthy right now but the other one is absolutely fine it's hunched in a corner big old mandibles but it is fine because when I touch it it has a wiggle and gets annoyed at me so that is really really cool there. Right, nothing else has had any issues in the car journey home, so we've got no more worries there. I picked up some more stick insects. I have been after this genus for a while, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so we're just going to give it a guess. Haniella Dehani. That's my guess. If I've said it wrong, someone let me know. These are fascinating to me, and we'll go into more details in a video of their own. Um, but I do know someone who is uh, a very, very good hobbyist with this particular genus. So I'm going to be questioning him about their care so that I get it completely right. And hopefully I can breed them well. Has Bramble stuck in my thumb? So. There they are. These are just small nymphs right now. And I've got a pack of six, whoa, pack of six little nymphs. Okay, next from the spider shop, I got a Salmopius reduncus, which is just down here. So I've wanted to build this genus in my arboreals. My favorites are the Tapinus genus, Pseudoclamorus, and Salmopius. So I'm going to try and build up the collections of those. So that's pretty cool. And then things that I were after. If you watched my pre-BTS talk and been watching my videos, you know I'm into tappies. So I got the T. cuprius in here. 
A lot of these you won't be able to see well right now, but I'll try and get some clips at the end and anything I can't, they're all going to be in rehousing videos anyway. That was a £40 sexed female from So Many Legs. Moving on, I got, I'll do this one next, another £40 female tappy, but this is the latter piece from So Many Legs as well. And this one is just down in here. So I've added not two, but a third tappy to my collection. So this one, I cannot remember the gentleman I bought this from, I do apologise, but this is the tappy genius Rasty, which you guys would have known as the Caribbean Diamond before it was put into um, as, as an actual known species. I probably said that a bit weird. I can't find this one, I think. It's actually under a leaf. Now, I won't be able to get you to see this one, but I've just kind of given it a little prod in the side of the enclosure, and it is, it's hidden under a leaf, but it's done an awful lot of webbing here, so it uh, looks like there's part of a molt in there as well. So, three new tappies to add to the collection. There is one more thing to show you, and it is my absolute favourite. I'm going to show you a clip of it first, see if you can guess what it is, and then I'll confirm that for you afterwards. So, did you have a guess? Let's see if you got it right. It was the Therophosa apothesis. Well, I know some people pronounce it differently. That's how I pronounce it. So that one's a good six inches big. So it is the biggest of the three that I own. So I have my Blondie from Peter, which is a good size sling. And I've got my Sturmy, which is now getting kind of its juvenile size. So now I have all three Therophosa in the collection and that cost me 150 pounds. And for a six inch, to me, that is a cracking price. I think we were seeing them there for well over £200 at a similar size and you're looking at around the 80 odd mark for a miniature sling, maybe late 60 odd pounds, 69 or so for an even tinier sling. So I had to snap that up and put myself in debt, <laughs> no, I didn't really, but um, it did take an awful lot of my funds to get that. So what I'll do is I'll leave you now. Let me know in the comments below which was your favourite of my pickups and which are you looking forward to seeing in the next rehousing video. So thanks a lot for watching guys, take care, bye bye.